June 13th, day 19. Uh, cold, wet, miserable generally. We made pretty good progress yesterday, had decent wind. Uh, uh, we're able to hold a nearly true north course all day. Uh, wind picked up in the afternoon. Um, we reefed, we took down the main, uh, continued sailing until the wind died completely at 0, 0200 this morning. So we hove to, making no progress, no point in staying outside in the wet and cold. And uh, I'm going to get up uh, and start the motor here in a minute. We need to charge our batteries. It's been uh, foggy and rainy for so long that our solar panels haven't, uh, haven't been able to charge our batteries. So our house bank is uh, pretty much flat. We have a second bank of batteries for the, dedicated to engine starting, so we'll start the motor and then uh, flip over and charge our house bank from the, from the engine alternator. I haven't checked yet this morning, but I, I estimate we're uh, less than 300 miles from our waypoint, but still nearly 2,000 miles from Cape Flattery. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there's an awful lot of trash in the water up here. Far more than... Uh, than we see around Hawaiian waters. Of course, there's always the occasional, you know, fishing net float, plastic bottle or whatever bobbing around. But up here, I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, styrofoam packing material from, you know, st stereos and things like that. And a construction worker's hard hat, and jerry jugs, and uh, just junk. Small pieces, big pieces, uh, and a lot of it. But it is depressing to be so far from uh, civilization and be seeing so much human waste on the water. Chuck, were you seasick again last night? Chuck was seasick again last night. Coming off watch, chilled to the bone, uh, and had to fill our lamps, which, the lamps are wonderful things, you know, they give a nice warm glow and uh, they also uh, take the chill off the cabin. The cabin is uh, nice and toasty compared to outside, although it's not that really that warm in here. But the, the lamps are great. We have uh, these two small Aladdin-type lamps, and uh, and we've got another uh, ship's lamp in the forward cabin that's also a kerosene lamp. To, and uh, it helps a tremendous amount. So we don't have a heater, which is probably good. I mean, we'd, you know, we'd be tempted to use it and crank the temperature up to 80 degrees in here if we did, but uh, we don't have a heater. And... Um, Mm -hmm. cabin, temp cabin temperature is about 70 degrees. have no idea what it is outside, but it's damn cold. I can tell you. And with the wind and rain and fog and everything, it seems even worse. So, especially to us who, uh, me, who spent the last 30 years in Hawaii. Now I remember why. But the crew is happy, healthy, and in good spirits, more or less. Uh... These breeze become very affectionate. It's always wanting to cuddle up. <laughs> Doing a lot of sleeping, too. Every time one of us sits down, she's in our lap. Every time one of us goes to bed, she's right there with us. As much as I would like to hang out here in the nice warm cabin, roll up in a blanket, um, I think it's time to continue. So that's all for this edition of whatever it is we're calling this. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. That's our lives from this topic for the fourth and tiny ship. <laughs> <laughs>